a very exciting day finding that 22 karat gold chain. Um, unfortunately, today is raining, but it's not really a rain rain. It's more of a very light drizzle. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can get out to the park, do one more out and back, and who knows, you might find something else. But I'm going to go grab some coffee first, and then uh, we'll get to it. Okay? Yeah, I'll give you a little view. Yeah, so we finally have rain. That's one thing we desperately need here. But, um, as you can see, it's not actually dripping on my windshield. That's just a wet windshield. As if I do this. Nothing's really dripping. So, I'll go back out today and see what I can find. Yeah, my lovely street, the neighbor's house, the van that never dies. The guy's driving with a spare on the back. Okay, catch it. Well, the rain's holding off a little bit, so I think it's going to give me about an hour to go out here to swing the stick. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. Go down and turn around and come back. So, however long that is, we'll see what I find. I don't have my GoPro today. Um, the case was dirty and I forgot to wash it. So, oh well, if it's something really good, I will whip out the old uh, monstrosity of a cell phone, the iPhone, and um, I'll film it. That's if it's good. If it's just, you know, coins and whatnot. I'll just save it for the roundup, but um, I'll show you what the park looks like today, and we'll, we'll get to work. So yeah, um, park, there's a lady out there playing with her dogs, and it's just empty. So yeah, I'm going to go out towards that those trees, and turn around and come back. Basically starting at my back bumper, or about my past rear wheel wheel, real wheel go out and turn around and try to stay as straight as possible coming back. So it's kind of a gridding type thing. So we'll see what I find. Catch you later. Alright, so that was my hunt. It's over. <laughs> Rain's really coming down now, see? So, um, I'll catch you at the roundup. Alright everybody, I'm back from my hunt. Um, I'm got a big bolt Stick it right there. I uh, got a battery. Uh, a couple bits of wire. They're just close iron targets. Um, I dig batteries because they come up weird. So we got another chain today. Woohoo! Well, it's a fake chain. But hey, that's cool. Make a nice little square out of it. How's that? Because on that chain was a U.S. Army dog taggy thing. Um, we got a few pieces of can slaw right there. I think I was still picking up some of that can slaw from the other day. We got one of these. Um, I don't know, I find this from time to time, it's just, it's like a decomposing chunk of zinc, it's kind of weird, I have no idea what it's out of, so, it always comes up really promising, of course. Um, we found a plastic bottle cap, but camouflage under the bottle cap was two-thirds of an evil one. Yeah. Uh, first find today though was a lead fishing weight. So that's all the junk. The good stuff. I actually didn't do too bad on uh, coinage today. Um, sorry I didn't film any of the stuff getting dug. I said it was it was raining and I had that big mistake with the uh, Wearing my Gore-Tex jacket and a GoPro and so you know what, I'll just not do a GoPro today. So we got 
one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, one dime, two dime, three dime. Only one nickel today. One penny, two penny, three penny. Now the pennies, um, this is a 1993, this one here is a 1989, right there, and this one is, hey I can't read it, let me see here, 1992, and then for the dimes, um, Get some dates off them for you. 1990, 99. Hey, holy cow, hard to read. A lot of crusty on it. I probably should do all this off camera, but. It would be less fun. That's a 2001. The quarters are all pretty decent. Uh, a 91. A 96. This one here. Hey. I just got some email. 1970. There. 1970. I think that's the oldest coin I found today. It is the oldest coin I found today. So, that's all for today. Um, I know my hair is awesome again. Here, let me, let me style my hair real quick. Ah, yeah. Ugh, I probably look a sight. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? So, yeah, um, started out with a uh, slight drizzle. Ended up coming down pretty good. Um, I have that little... Uh, Deus puts it out. It's a little silicone cover that goes over your control box. Um, keeps the rain off of it. Keeps dirt off of it. Seems to work pretty good in the rain. Um, I need to do uh, look into Mr. Pond Guru's waterproof box setup because I think that's pretty sweet. Um, I have to look up that video. But yeah, um, that's what I got. Pretty quick and easy, short and sweet video today. Um, yeah, I mean, you find a gold chain in a park, you want to go back. Because you might find another one, or a, a ring, or an earring, or, you know, a full one-ounce ingot. Who knows? But I'm still buzzing over that chain. It's pretty cool. Um, I need to really, really look at it closely at the hallmarks. I want to find out who makes it and... How much it was purchased for because that'll give me an idea of the value for it I've had people at work say so you're gonna sell it I don't know probably keep it I, don't know, I always feel funny about that kind of stuff um, I've checked like uh, Craigslist lost and found and all that and I didn't seen anybody saying they're missing a gold chain in that park so and if they were, I'd say I'd email them and say, "Do you have a picture of it?" But um, yeah, I've nobody's reported it missing, so it's fine. All the ones that I've seen online so far for 22 inch, 22 carat, um, I think it's about a 2.5 millimeter, maybe three millimeter width around. Um, they're pretty expensive. So, I would be pretty sure that somebody would have posted something somewhere, but they didn't. But yeah, I want to get, I have to figure out a way to actually get the maker's mark off there. Now, my grandfather, he has uh, some eyesight issues where he has to use these really, really crazy magnifiers. I mean, we're talking like 50 to 100 times. <laughs> So maybe I can run it underneath one of his machines and get
get a good picture of it. Because it's, it's, the hallmark's really hard to see for me. I mean, I got my little 30 by 36 made in Germany bought from China off of eBay loop. See? I don't know how that looks right now. That's probably weird. Um, but who knows? Maybe it's some better lighting and. Yeah. Tripod was on some keys. Maybe it was some better lighting and being able to clamp it down, I'll be able to figure it out. Anyhow, um, you all have a great day. Um, good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. Um, you guys in the Midwest, I know you're getting hit with a lot of snow right now. So uh, don't be driving crazy and avoid people driving crazy. We're getting our little bit of it now. So hopefully this rain, I mean, it's a bummer. It's going to kind of damper the uh, my detecting a little bit. Unless I just go out and get soaked, who cares? But um, we need the rain, and I'm very happy to see it. It cleans the sky and fills the reservoirs that are almost empty that I never got a chance to go and detect. Dag nabbit. Alrighty, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Mm.